All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to get your car running um, on Megasquirt. I'm assuming that you got your base map from DIY Auto-Tune. You set up your injectors and all that fun stuff. Um, you got the car turned on and idling somehow. Great. Now you want to drive it. So, to start, you want to make sure you've got your AFR tables set up the way you think you're going to want them. Don't copy mine, I'm on E85, you're going to want to have different targets. Uh, you'll find them on the forums, figure out what's safe. Usually in boost you want to be in the low 11s to start at least. Cruise you can probably get away with low 15s, 15.1, good place to shoot to start. Um, so to start tuning we are going to get our idle set up first, which we need our coolant temperature all the way up to at least where your warm-up enrichment turns off, which is probably 170, 180 degrees, which I'm not quite there yet. But we'll go tune that manually here in your VE table. It'll be these highlighted cells. Just go up and down until you get it where you want it. You don't want it stumbling around, but you want to get it as lean as possible. Again, I'm on E85, so my targets are a little different, but really 14.7, not too bad. Um, so you want to start driving the car, and you haven't done any tuning yet. You're going to want to use Auto-Tune to start, which requires the paid version of Tuner Studio. I recommend the paid version of Megalog Viewer, which I'll show you here soon. Uh, to get tuning, you will open the... You will want to turn off Ego Control, you can't have any assist running for Auto-Tune, so you just go up here, disable it, burn it, you'll have to turn your car back on. Um, and we go over to Auto-Tune. Once you're in Auto-Tune, you want to lock all these cells that are your idle. You don't want Auto-Tune messing with that. Um, and you want to set it up so that your cell resistance is easy because you haven't done any tuning yet you just want to get things safe to get started so you can drive around so change that to easy hit start auto tune and let it go to town just drive around watch your wideband um, make sure that your wideband reading matches your tuner studio reading that's that's pretty important You want to make sure that what you see on Mega Squirt matches what you see up here on your wideband. Uh, that way you know it's making the correct adjustments. So just start auto tune and drive around. Um, take it easy. Don't do anything crazy. Uh, you have to hold the throttle in specific cells, you know, to get it to change. It's not gonna. It's a little slow. But it will get your car drivable. I'd stay out of boost if you are turbo. Um, and then once you're done, you'll hit apply and save on ECU, and it'll save your fueling uh, to your fueling table. And then just keep doing that until you get things where you think it's pretty good. You can bump it up to normal and hard if you really want, but I really think auto tune is just good for getting it close it's not good for much else definitely not good for tuning boost don't try to do that uh, so you're ready to tune boost make sure you have the program megalog viewer downloaded you can open it up so it's ready to go here you will import your data logs and your tune and it will make finer adjustments for you. It, this is the best way to get things close. Obviously you can get a lot more in depth, but right now you just want to get your car drivable and you want to get into boost and drive around. Uh, so once it's open, you can just forget about it for now. Get back into Tuner Studio. And when you're ready, hit Control L, and you can start data logging. 
which we'll do that now. I will start a data log, see your log time start, and then just drive around. Do any kind of driving you want to do. Um, whatever you think needs work, just drive around normal. As long as you have the paid version, you can take as long of what logs as you want. Um, hit, hit all the different speeds, you know, do low speed cruising, high speed cruising, different types of acceleration, uphill, downhill, do it all. Um, you can't have ego control turned back on for this, I forgot to show you that. Um, but ego control works fine with, with Megalog Viewer and any other assist you might want to use if you want to have a fuel cut off, uh, overrun set on, any of that kind of stuff. So I'm going to drive around for a bit and then I will show you guys what to do with the log. Alright, now that you've done some driving around, grab your laptop. And to stop logging, control B. So your log is stopped. Uh, make sure everything you've done is saved, so control S, any changes you might have made. And open up Megalog Viewer. Control O to open up your log. This is our most recent log here. And then you gotta open your tune file, which should find your folder, but if not, you gotta find your current tune folder and then go down and hit current tune. And you are ready to analyze. So VE analyze, you click that brings this up and again just like with the auto tune you want to lock all of your cruise cells you don't want this messing with that either it's just not worth it and you hit run analysis it'll do its thing it'll tell you what it did just hit ok anything up here you'll see black red and blue red means that they pulled fuel from that cell Blue means that they added fuel in that cell, and black means that they didn't change anything. And I mean, you can hover over the cell, it'll tell you what the beginning value was, you know, how much it changed, what, what your target AFR is there. And you want to accept these changes. And then you hit Save Tune. And then you have to open Tuner Studio back up and hit yes. And now it has applied those changes to ER Tune. So again, I control S, make sure it's saved. And that's about it. Uh, keep doing that over and over and over again some more until you're happy with it. And um, keep doing research and you can start learning how to change other things. Um, one thing I don't recommend you touch for a very long time is your ignition table. Leave that alone. Don't touch this. Leave what DIY gave you for now. Don't bother. Um, if you do change it, that's at your own risk. It really should be changed on a dyno. I play with it a little bit, but I'm on the 85 so I don't have to worry as much and I'm still conservative. I think I mentioned it before, but make sure your AFR targets are set up the way you want them before you start doing it. Again, don't copy mine. They're for E85, not gas. You're going to want low 11s and boost, low 15s and cruise, and blend it in between. But do your research on that. See what other people use and come up with that on your own. Uh, and that's about it. Let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I want to see any other videos. This is all I do, so whatever. Thanks for watching.